Aloha mai kako. Welcome to Halau na Puahala Kuno Ike Kai. My name is Kumu Kanoi. This is, oh my gosh, this is our Saturday hula. <laughs> this is Eames Kalaniakea, my son and helper. And we're so happy to be back at hula again on Saturday. There's a lot of action going on outside. We've got some yard workers, some lawn mowers, weed whackers, but hopefully you're just hearing us today. <laughs> uh, we're so happy that you've joined us from all around the world. We are celebrating two things this month. Number one is the birthday of Queen Lili Kalani, which just passed last week. And so we're celebrating Lili all month long. And the second thing that we are celebrating is Aloha Festivals. So although we're just celebrating from home and with all of you, we're happy to be connected around the world through our hula. So I think it's time. my welcome back and we are going to get started the way that we always do actually just last week I was thinking to myself maybe they're getting tired of this routine <laughs> but quite a few of you said in the comments that you like all of the chants and prayers to start us off so we'll keep rolling with it that's how I always grew up in hula there was a nice uh sort of a, a routine to the start of every hula so I hope that you you like it let me know otherwise uh but we're gonna start with our Hawaii Pono'i of course, this is our anthem, originally the anthem for our nation, now the anthem for our state of Hawaii. And we have our high Hawaii, our Hawaiian flag that Eames is going to hold for us. We will do all three verses of the lyrics written by King David Kalakaua, set to the tune by Captain Henry Berger. So here we are. Hawaii pono i pa. Hawaii pono i Na na i ko mo i ka la ni a li i ke a li i ma ku a la ni e ka me ha me ha e na ka wa e pa le. for that. Thank you very much. At this time, we are going to wish a fond aloha to all of you. Don't worry, we're not saying goodbye yet. Of course, aloha means goodbye, but it also means hello. So we want to know who we are saying aloha to, and I know we have some very, very special guests today tuning in. So let's see who is joining us live. First of all, we have Patricia Reddy, aloha kako. She says, 
you're so happy to be with us and we're so happy to be with you. How only no Marco. Okay, we have Inger Kanoi joining us from Wai Alai. Aloha Kakahiaka. Akemi, aloha, joining us all the way from Yapana, Japan. And we have McCoy ML joining us from where is McCoy? Florida, I believe. Right? Yvonne McGreevy, also in Florida, St. Petersburg. And a special shout out to Eames from Tutu, who is normally right here in Nu'uanu. She's all the way over in Las Vegas, I think, watching with Auntie Lay this morning. So, aloha to Tutu. I'm glad you're having a good trip. Angelica joining us in Kelemania, Germany. Norie in Japan. Jamie in San Diego. Misuk An in Incheon, Korea. Angelique, also from Germany. Uh, Linda is joining us from Pennsylvania. Coco, Coco from Mexico City. Claire Marie from Long Beach, California. Aloha, no. Veronica, also in Mexico. And we see Hepua Lahaole in Brawley, California. It's nice to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. Mama Chan is joining from Makiki. We already had a little chat this morning via Facebook. So nice to see you, Mama Chan. And Claire Marie Peterson from Altadena, California. Tam Feely from Virginia. Everyone's checking in for Hula, and we're glad that you're here today. So sending our aloha to you via this next chant. This is our Oli Aloha. Remember, uh, we are hoping that you are chanting and singing along with us at home. So make sure that you sing this Oli Aloha out to one and all. Oli Aloha, pa. Akahai na Hawaii, lo kahia kulike, olu olu kamana o, ha a ha a kokulana, a ho nuyalana kila, aloha. Hey, you switch sides. Normally, you're on this side, because when we do aloha, I kind of go right over your head. <laughs> okay, at this time, we continue with our routine. We're going to noho ilalo, have a seat on the ground, and we're going to do our prayers. Of course, these prayers are appropriate for many occasions. You can use them before you eat your food or just to bless the day, whenever you feel like you need a little extra pule. Uh, this first one is going to be the Hawaiian doxology translated by Hiram Bingham, um, and then a second verse, which was taught to us um, by Kumu Haunani Bernardino before she passed. So here is the Hawaiian doxology. Ho'onani pa. Ho'onani kamakua mo ke ke ki ne ka uha ne no ke aku wa mo ho o mai ka ipu ko ke ya ko ke la ku no ha a ha a ko ka that we do is actually a little simpler. It's called Ekea Kua, and it's done in the Kahoahoa style where we have a call and a response. So I will start and Eames will respond. You're welcome to join either one of us. Here we go with Ekea Kua Pa. Ekea Kua Ekea Kua Mahalo no Mahalo no Mahalo ya oi no ke la no ke la amen 
Amene. Amene. Nice job. So this prayer says, Ekiakua, dear Lord, thank you for this day. And we always want to be thankful for whatever the day brings. But we also want to know, how's the weather over where you are? And the way you ask that in Hawaiian is, Pehea Kianila. So, Pehea Kianila is the question and your answer will be, He la blank keia, if it's daytime, or He po blank keia, because we know some of you are joining in in the middle of the night and we're so thankful that you're here, even though you should be sleeping. So, E Eames, Pehea Kianila, how is the weather today? Let's see what the view is out our window. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Ay, hela, o malu malu keia. O malu malu. The word malu means to cover or to pro protect. So, o malu malu refers to the, the cloud cover. So, o malu malu, it is a cloudy day here in the valley of Nu'uanu on O'ahu, but it's still a beautiful one. We got a little bit of shower earlier, so it was a la ua. It was a rainy day this morning, a, a rainy kakahiaka, a rainy morning. So let us know in the comments down below, how is the weather in your part of the world? We know we have people joining us from all over. So, or Mahalo for sharing. Okay, at this time, we need some sun to burn through those clouds so we can have a nice sunny day. So we're going to do our oli that helps us to rise up the sun. It's called Ealae, written by and it starts with a little cupped hands like this, and then we're going to flatten them out. So the word for cupped hands in Hawaiian is upoho, and then the pa'i is going to be the flat-handed. Okay, so here we go. Ready, and upoho, upoho, pa'i, upoho, e ala e, chant. E ala e, kala i kahikina, i kamuana, kamuana honu, pi i kalewa, kalewa nuu, i kahikina, aya kala, e ala e. Very good. Now, if you're not sure what this chant is about, this next time through, we're going to do some descriptive hand motions as we do the chant. These are not hula moves, uh, but more like what you would teach to the keiki to help them understand the meaning. Okay, so here we go. E ala e, with hand motions, pa. E ala e, kala i kahikina, i kamuana, kamuana honu, pi i kaleva, kaleva nu. And of course, yalae means wake up, wake up. Okay, so now we're going to combine the two. We're going to do upoho, upoho, and then a hand motion. Try not to put your face. <clears throat> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Ready? And here we go. Eyalae. Kala i kahikina, i kamuana, kamuana ho ho nu, pi i kalewa, kalewa nu u, i kahikina, aya kala, e ala e. Very good. Yep, e ala e means wake up. So let's see. Did we get the sun to wake up a little bit? How's it looking out there? Oh, there's a little bit more blue poking through. Maybe by the end of today's hula, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, now we're going to move on to a chant written by Edith Kanaka Ole, um, and it is Eho Mai. Eho Mai is sort of a meditative chant to help us get in the mood to learn more about our mele and songs. So we will do it three times through from top to bottom, modulating a tone each time. Here we go. Eho Mai. Eho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na a me a huna no e a o na me le eho mai eho mai eho mai eho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na a me a huna no e a o na me le Eho mai, eho mai, eho mai ka mai luna mai e o na me a huna no e o na me le eho mai, eho mai, eho mai e. Mahalo, 
before we move away from this chant, I've been teaching this chant to my students this year as a way to start each class and just kind of get in the mood to learn. And I wanted to point out one thing that I noticed that they always um, make as a mistake. I don't hear any of us doing it, of course, but uh, maybe some of you at home might need this. So when we do the last three a ho mai, even though we're changing notes, make sure that you're not adding an okina in there. It shouldn't sound like a ho o mai. There's no o o or there's no okina in there. Make sure it's nice and smooth. A ho mai, a ho mai. So it's nice and legato or smooth. So let's just try those last. Yes, thank you. Always talking with the hands, this mommy. Okay, a ho mai three times at the end, just the last three lines. E go. E ho mai. E ho mai. E ho mai. Mahalo. That was much, much, much better. I can already tell. Okay, so at this time, we're going to move on to our ipu work. So if you have an ipu at home, you can go ahead and grab it. If not, then you can use your hands to join in. We're going to use the ipu heke ole here, um, which is the one, just a single gourd without the head on the top. But if you have an ipu heke, that will work as well. So we're going to start off with our song to make our ipu. Says we chop off the head, dig out the guts, sand it down, and then we're ready to go. Hanavo ika ipu heke ole pa. Hanavo ika ipu heke ole. Ika ipu heke ole. Hanavo ika ipu heke ole. Ika papa hanano eo hanaho. Hanavo ika ipu heke ole. Ika ipu heke ole, hana o ika ipu heke ole, ika papa hana no eo, and stop. Now that beat that we just did is called the ku ku beat, and so that beat is probably one of the more complicated beats that we have. It is a combination of three oos on the ground and then a te te. It's on the bottom of that slide down there. U u u te te. Let's start with that. That's right. Ready, set, here. I join. Take, Two more. Last one. And stop. I sound like an aerobics instructor, yeah? <laughs> Six more. Five more. Sweat it out. Okay, just oh, yeah. kidding. Okay. <laughs> Next is going to be the kahela as we move up that slide there. The kahela beat is the u te te, okay? So we're going to hit u on the pale or the ground, and the te te is going to be on the side. Let's try four kahela. Ready, go. U te te, u te te, u te te, u te te. Very good. That's the kahela. Sorry, I had two glasses of coffee this morning, and I have this, like, 80s-inspired mamo on, so it's just... <sighs> the vibes are coming out. Okay, next one is going to be the pa beat, which is a combination of u and te. So one on the pale and one with the hand. Four, pa, ready, go. U, te, u, te, u, te, and stop right there. Very good. Now, at the top of this slide, you see a, a word that says ka, eke, loloi. And this one is actually an optional beat. It's a way to make your beat sound a little bit fancier. So if you take your hand on the side of the ipu and rattle it side to side, mine's going a little faster, more caffeinated than normal. So you go side to side like that. You can add that any time that you're going to do the oo beat. So let's try it with the kuku. Yeah, that's the one where you get the most kaikiloloi. Ready? And kuku four times. Two. And three. Last one. That's it. So that's our car ekiloloi. Now, sometimes we like to put together some patterns to challenge your brain. So let's try this. This one is going to be not too hard, but a little bit tricky. Okay. Pa, pa, kahela, pa. Okay. So we got pa, pa, kahela, pa. And then the second half of that is going to be kahela, kahela, pa, kahela. You see how that goes? Pa, pa, kahela, pa, kahela, kahela, pa, kahela. Good luck. Ready? And here we go.
Did you get it? Yeah. You nailed it. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's try. Uh, let's cool down with a kind of easy one. Okay. Uh, pa kahala kuku. Ow. Kuku kahala pa. That'll be it for today. Ready? He has to prepare himself. <laughs> pa kahala kuku. Kuku kahala pa. Ready? And here we go. Pa kahala and kuku. Kuku kahala and a pa. Very good. You can put your ipu away. I'm actually going to ask Eames to demonstrate a couple of basic steps for us today. So I will put e and Eames will dance. Hopefully you will dance along with Eames. <laughs> what happened there? I don't know. Okay, so for our hula that's coming up um, in just a little bit for Lili Ue, one of the moves that you're going to need to do is called the Ka Velu. And we haven't done it for a little bit, so I want to make sure that we can get this. So Eames is going to take hit, uh, this foot right here, which will be your right foot, and he's going to go forward on the right and together, and then back on the left together. Okay, so hands on the waist. You're going to go forward with the right first and then back on the left. Ready? And Kavelu. Go forward together, back together. Forward together, back again. Goes forward together, back and together. Very good. And you can make sure to keep your hips nice and loose while keeping your shoulders still. The word Kavelu comes from the name of a type of grass. It's actually famous here in the Nu'uanu Valley because it's tall and it sort of waves in the wind. So your hips should be loose and moving like, yes, something like that. Okay, so let's try the Kavelu one time with a nice swing in the hips. Ready? And Kavelu. Forward on the right and back on the left again. Forward, right back left that's it okay so that's one of the steps that you're going to be needing in our hula i'm trying to think if there's any other funky ones in this one the only other thing is going to be a slow ami so this is going to be a ami to it's going to be the other way actually so it's going to be a ami right so put your um right elbow up yeah, your right elbow up and put your hip out to the opposite side. You're going to put your hip out that way. Yep. So your left. Yeah. And then your ami is going to go towards the back first and then come around. So just know that this is the setup for it. And then you're going to slow ami. Yep. That's it. That's it. You're only going to get one in Lili Uwe. I'm trying to think if there's other ones. Oh, I know. In Aloha We Kula, we do that ami. And um, you're going to actually do... Four slow, I mean, four slow amis. It's going to be up, up, down, up. And I'm going to change it. Two, three, four. Exactly. So you're going to have iluna, iluna, ilalo, iluna. Right? Iluna means up, ilalo means down. So let's just try that. Four amis. Ready? And go. Ami up, up, and down, and up. That's it. Okay? So when we get to that point, you'll be ready. Okie dokie. I'm going to do a quick review of Lili Ue, and then we'll learn some new stuff in a moment. Oh. <laughs> so we have been honoring our Lili U this month um, by doing one of the most well-known chants that is taught to our youngest beginning dancers, Lili Ue. Um, it was written by a gentleman named Akoni Anton Kao. Oh, and I wanted to show you his picture again because he's so handsome. Look at, no, that's not him. <laughs> that was Lili U. She's also handsome in a way. But uh, Anton Kao'o, oh, oh, there he is with his fancy jersey. He was known as the Wailua Racehorse. And he would run all of these, um, these foot races. He actually set the record for the Honolulu Marathon um, all the way back in the 1900s. And the record at the time was something like three hours, 20 something minutes. Nowadays, they do it in two hours. So sorry, buddy, you're out. But anyways, Anton Ka'o'o was famous not only for being a runner, but for being a hula dancer and an entrepreneur. He had a luau at his home where he would invite tourists to come and uh, see his troupe of hula dancers perform a luau. And uh, he was serving 
a little bit of alcohol during the prohibition Allah. And um, so he would serve alcohol at this luau. I'm sure it was popular because of the hula, not because of the alcohol. But he had someone who was the lookout. And when he would see the police coming, when he would see the police coming and the lookout would give the signal, I don't know if he would blow the poo or what, he would take the barrels of alcohol and he would roll them into the swamp behind the luau and they would submerge the barrels in the swampy area, down Waikiki sort of area, submerge the barrels in the swamp and then the police would come and say, oh, there's nothing to see here, just hula. You know, we're just entertaining the tourists. Off the police would go and they would fish the barrels out and continue on their way. So Anton Ko'o'o sounds like my kind of guy. I don't know about you folks. <laughs> Anyways, he wrote the lyrics to this melee that we've been learning. And so let's jump back into Lili Ue. And it is based on his chant, but the melody was set later. Um, and, and it is the one that is sung by musicians today. So Lili Ue, we're going to start with a half a T to the right. Our hands go to the right. Make sure this left hand is coming right to the center of your mamu hawa kawal. Kawal? What, what is this called? I don't know. Collar. Okay, going to the right, to the right, and then to the left, Lili Uwe. Cowl? Is it called a cowl? Is there such a thing as a cowl neckline? I don't think this is it, but I feel like a sailor. Okay, you're going to the right, and then you go to the left. So you're saying, Lili U, she sits so gently. Then you're going to bring your hand to your elbow, and your right hand goes right underneath your chin on the left side, looking off to this side, and then reversing it to the left. So you get both sides. Lili ue, no nani mai. Then kokino means your body. You're going to stretch your hands way up. Kokino e. How soft and supple. You're going to wave and wave. Okay, let's try just the hands for the first verse. Lili ue, no nani the way that I have recorded the music for today's hula is actually based on a version that was done in the opera Auli'i and the Last Menehune, written by Herb Mahelona. So this arrangement is from him, um, based on uh, the way that Auntie Nola and her sister and Auntie Debbie would sing it when they had their group. So anyways, this one goes two verses back to back with no vamp in the middle. So it's going to go verse 1-1 one, one, and then a vamp, then verse 2-2 two, two, and then a vamp. So let's add in the feet and we'll do it back to back. Kaholo. Li, li, u, e. Now, slow uehe. No, no, ni, my. Switch hands. Kaholo. Ko, ki, no, e. Ka, o. Ki, mi, li, mi, li, 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 u, e. Other side. No, no, ni, my. Slow uehe. Ko, ki, no, e. Ki, mi. Ka'o, mili, two hand holo to the right and to the left. Got it? Let's try it with the music. Eames can come join us. And here's Lili Uwe, verse number one. Ka'holo. Slow Uwe. Ka'o. Lili ue. Slow ue. Ka'o. Great job. So our goal for today is to get two more verses. So the next verse, ko makae, verse number two. Oh, by the way, you'll see the word pauku right over there. Pauku means verse. So we're on verse two now. Ko maka talks about your, oh, sorry, your eyes. <laughs> it means poku. Okay. So your eyes, you're going to bring your hands straight to the sides of your eyes like this. Now this is taken directly from 
um, the original choreography. So you're going to bring your hands by the sides of your eyes, and then you're going to flip them over. That's it. So palms towards the back, and then palms forward. Very good. That's going to be your very first line. Komakae and flip. Let's try that. Komakae. Now the word noveo means to shine. So your eyes are going to shine forward like Care Bear stare. Yeah. And then it comes right back to your eyes. Folks, remember Care Bears? It's old, yeah? I know. You used to watch it? Oh, okay, maybe not as old as I thought. Okay, so you're going to push forward, and then you're going to pull it back. Yes, that's it. So noveo means to shine bright. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay, go from your eyes. Noveo ne. Good. Then the next part says copapalina, which are your chiki chicks. These ones. Not those ones. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so your right, uh, left hand is going to lock into your waist. Your right hand is going to touch the opposite cheek. And then you're going to go to this side. Then switch hands. Right hand is on your waist. Left hand goes opposite cheek. And then to this side. Okay, so try not to think about it too much. Just do it. Copapalina. Yeah, so that one goes faster. It's slow touch, slow touch, fast, fast. And then it's going to go back to flip over. And then bam. Good? Easy? Yeah. Okay. So now let's add the feet. We'll move back a little bit so that you can see. On komakae, you're going to kaholo right and left. That's easy. Komakae. Okay. Now here comes that kavelu step that Im showed us. Let's practice just the step again. Hands on your waist. Right foot goes forward. Here we go. Right foot forward. And then left foot goes back. Try once more. Ready? Set, right foot goes forward and together, left foot back and together. Now, the hard part is your hands are going to go forward and then back. But you have to time it just right. So on the forward move of your feet, your hands only go forward. Yep. And then on the back, that's when they come back. That's a little tricky, so we'll get it, okay? And then back. Yes, you got it. You got it. That's it. Okay, so let's kaholo to the right for komaka. Komaka e. Flip over. No veo. Push forward and pull back. Ko pa pa. Oh, yeah. So your palms are going to, I think your palms will stay forward the whole time. Ko pa pa lina. Let's go back to kaholo because that's what's easy. Ko pa pa lina. And then we have a ka'o. Don't you love that harmony? That's it. When I sang in the choir, my part was always that harmony, and I like to be as obnoxious as possible. Instead of komakae, we got komakae. That second, yeah. Okay, all the music people. Hallelujah, she's a musician. Okay, ready? Komaka. Follow. Komaka, your eyes. Flip over. Going forward. Push hands forward, pull back. Nice job. Here's our ka'o. Komaka palms in. And push forward. And pull back. Papalina is cheeks. Ka'o, side side. And follow. Nice job. So let's do 
uh, verses 1 and 2. Vos verses. Vos verses. Van and vu. Hello. Eh, Lili Ue. Eh, Lili Ue. Oh, Lili Ue. Sitting so prettily. And your body. Soft and supple. Kao. Eh, Lili Ue. Look right and left. No hona ni mai your body Kiki mili mili Paholo Second verse Komaka your eyes How they twinkle so bright And your cheeks So rosy Kao Komaka eyes Shining bright, Papalina, Papalina, Ekukuana, Kao, Holo. Nice job. <laughs> okay. So here we go into verse number three. This is not too hard of a hula, so we're going to do two verses today. I know you can get it. Po'ohibi are your shoulders, and I have some extra shoulder action for you today. Po'ohibi um, talks about her shoulders. So your left hand is going to stack on top of the right hand, and it's going to come to your shoulder on the left side. Okay, So you're going to wave by your shoulders, and then you're going to come out in front. And then you're going to switch hands, and now your right hand is on top, and then you're going to come out. Okay? Yeah, you got it. So this side... And then this side. That's going to be just a simple holo to the right. So you're going to holo away from your hands. Holo in this direction. Hands go this way. Ko po o hivi. Other side. Ani pe. Oh, I forgot to tell you about this. But we've done this step before in hula. It's called an o. So for the o, you're going to turn your left foot out to the side. Your right foot is going to cross and turn on the other side. Cross and turn. You want to see that on the Vavai cam? We have a camera specially for that. Okay? So for this one, you're going to turn out towards the left. Your right foot is going to cross over and then come back to the front. And then the left foot does the same thing on the other side. You only get to do that two times. So that's all we need to look. Okay? So Kopo Ohivi, you're going to do this shoulder motion with a Kaholo. Then when we turn to the side, it's going to be your right elbow up, the one towards the camera. That's it. And so it's going to be right elbow, right foot, going to this side, and then left elbow, left foot. That's it. Isn't he so smart? Because I'm saying right to you, and he has to flip it in his head. Congratulations. You're backwards. Okay. Ko po ohivi. We're going to hold to the right. Ko po ohivi. Turning to the side. Ani pe. Poly. That's it. So they were saying her shoulders, they turn like a fan. You know this kind of fan? Oh, just have, happen to have it. The fan, like this. They would say, oh, your, your shoulders are turning like a fan. Okay? I don't know what that means, but to them, that meant something. I think it's a compliment. Yeah, I think this whole thing is supposed to be a compliment. <laughs> You're so soft and squishy. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good question. That's a fair question. This is supposed to be a compliment. Okay. Ko po o hivi. Ko po o hivi. Ani pe o Ko po li. Okay, now poli is your bosom. And your bosom is not this. It is the space between, like where you give someone a hug. You see? He's in my bosom. <coughs> okay. Oh. Okay. So copolie, you're gonna roll at this side. One, and then two is in the center. Three is to the side. Four is to the center. And then you're gonna bring your hand here for your slow ami. Remember, I told you there's a slow ami. Yeah, that's it. So let's go. One and two and three and four. Slow ami. Copolie. Let's go. 
Anipe. Uh, he look over that shoulder attitude. Ko poli e. Na he na he vole holo da 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 da. Can you hear that outside? It's like they are lawn mowing right behind the camera. Isn't that amazing what Luke has done with this microphone that you can't hear it, but I can, and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> okay, let's try Kopo Ohibi. Hola. Here comes our shoulders. Compliment them. Turn side. Anipe ahi. Ko poli in your bosom. One, two, three, slow ami. Ko po ohibi. Turning side. Pe ahi. Ko poli. Roll, 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 slow ami. All right, so shall we try all the way from the beginning? Shall we? <laughs> no answer from the peanut gallery. Luke said we shall, so we will. I cannot, I, can, I honestly, I can't hear it. Wait, sorry. Here we go, one more time. Hello. Lili u. Slow uwehe. Sit so gently. Kokino your body. Soft and supple. Lili u. Maybe don't tell your girlfriend that she's soft and supple these days. Just a note. <laughs> Might get slapped. Ko maka your eyes. How they shine so bright. Push forward on the first cabal and back. And those papalina cheeky cheeks. The ones up top, please. Ko maka. Push forward. They shine so bright. And your rosy, rosy cheeks. Here's a ka'o at the end. Ka'o, ka'o. Nice. Okay, shoulders. Ko'o ohibi. Turning. Ko poli. That bosom. Nahe, nahe, it's so gentle. So we're halfway through the song. There's three more verses. We'll complete them in the following weeks um, of September. But for now, let's move on to something completely different. Bye-bye. So we're moving on to our second celebration of the month, which is, of course, the Aloha Festivals. And this song written by Jack Pittman. We covered the first verse last week, so I'm going to review it now. And then we'll add on the second verse today. Okay. So little hula flirts is going to be a similar hula motion as we did for Lili Uwe. You're going to do body motion. Little hula flirts. Then you're going to hold on to your mu'u mu'u or your pa'u or whatever you have on, pajama pants. And you're going to swish them side to side in hula skirts. Okay, try again. A little hula flirts in hula skirts. Then winking at the boys, bring your two hands up alongside your eyes and you're going to Make little crab hands for two. Winking at the boys. In aloha shirts, you're going to touch your shoulders and then to your waist as if you're showing off an aloha shirt. Now, one of our viewers, I think it was Barbara from Kailua Kona, she called me out last week. She said, Kumu, you said it's supposed to be hella hella ka'o ka'o, but then when you danced it, you did all hella. 
And my dear, you're absolutely correct. I went back and reviewed the tape. And this is a classic case of do as I do, not as I say. <laughs> Sometimes when I teach it, I think too much about the choreography and I say it wrong. And then when I dance it, I do it the way that it's supposed to be done. So in this case, do as I do, not as I say. I know that's backwards from the rest of the world, but in hula, it just works, okay? So winking at the boys in Aloha shirts is going to be hella and hella and hella and hella for hellas, okay? So start from the little hula flirts, kaholo to the right. It's little hula flirts in hula skirts for hella. A winking at the boys in Aloha shirts. You got it, okay? So kaholo, kaholo. For hella, do as I do. That's the way they do. For that part, left hand locks into your waist. Right hand is going to go from the center to the side. Follow the hand. And then left hand from the center to the side. On the word weak, you're going to clap your hands. And then straight across your chest. And we get to do this time four ummies that we practiced earlier. One, two, three three, and four. Now, last week, I believe that I taught that as a ami kuku. Depending on which version of the um, music that you're using, sometimes you can fit in that ami kuku. Sometimes all you can get in is the regular slow ami. So let's practice the slow ami. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can throw in ami, ami, and kuku, kuku. But if you're like me and your hips kind of sore these days, go slow. A one two slow dip three and four okay let's be a little bit lazy cut yourself some slack let's go from that's the way they do it's gonna be holo to the right that's the way they do get ready to clap the aloha we hula slow um me down and up ready to try that whole verse this is poku ekahi verse number one little hula flirts <laughs> Little hula flirts in hula skirts for hella. Winking at the boys in aloha shirts. That's the way to do the aloha week hula around the aisle is the next part. Okay, so let's try that much with the music that I recorded last year. Uh, aloha week hula with music. Here we go. Get ready to holo. Little hula flirt. Little hula flirt. And hula Hella four times. When can I stop? Would you like to try that once more with music? I thought so. <laughs> oh boy. Ha hello. Little hula flirts. Little hula flirts. Candy hula flirts. When can I stop boys in a low hush shirts? That's the way they do. There comes a clap. The Okay, so right now I'm going to teach a step um, that I wanted to stand up and teach you. Now, this is probably the hardest thing for me to teach via online because it's hard to show turns. So try to listen to the instructions that I give. We'll give you a couple of different angles to see and see if it helps you. Um, so we're going to do an ami around the island. So here's how it's going to look. Actually, can we do no, no words for now? And then let's just show us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we'll give you a couple of ways to see this. Okay. So the around the island is going to be a right ami. So put your right elbow up across your chest. Yeah. And your left hand is locked into your waist. Bend your knees down. Send that hip out to the left side. Yep. That side. That's it. Okay. So for this ami, we're only going to do four ummies, so it's going to go towards the back first. One, 
and two, and three, and four. Okay, now when we go around the island, this foot, your left foot, is going to get stuck to the ground. The right foot is going to be moving. For now, let's not move our body, but let's lift this right foot. Okay, so we're going to on me one, on me two, on me three, on me four. I know that's a little bit funky feeling. So now what you're going to do is you're going to pivot the foot. The left foot is going to go around. So watch this. The right foot is going to step in front, and the left foot is going to turn. The right foot is going to step. The left foot turns. The right foot steps, and the right foot steps. Okay, I'm going to show that to you on the Vavai cam so that you can see it. Okay, I know it's a little bit more up close. Okay, so the right foot is going to step forward. The left foot's going to turn. The right foot steps forward. The left foot turns. Right foot step. Left foot turns. Right foot steps. Left foot, you're back. Okay? All of the while, it's not just the feet that are moving. It's the hips that are doing the ami step. So watch my hips now. Ami and step. Ami and step. Ami step. Ami step. Okay? We're going to try show one more angle overhead. See if this helps too. Okay? So you can kind of see your left foot is going to stay planted. Right foot is going to go around and around and around and around. Okay? So that's the ami. Okay. Come back to the regular camera. I'm going to try one more thing, which is I'm going to turn my back to you this time and see if that helps. I know sometimes when I'm coming towards you and you're trying to turn, it's a little bit confusing. This is the most difficult thing to teach online. So here you go. Put your left hand on your waist. Your right elbow is up. Bend your knees down. Okay? And we're going to go around. A one, a two, a three, and a four. Okay? I don't know what's going to help you the most, but it's on me around the island. If you've never done one before, it'll be quick and painless over before you know it, okay? So <laughs> let's get back to the verse. The verse says, around the aisle, mile by mile. So lock in that left hand to your waist. Right hand is across your chest, and we're going to go around. Ready, go. Around the aisle, mile by mile. Good. Now you're going to make a hitchhiker thumb. And you're going to go over your shoulder. Take a detour while your left hand is into your side. Oh, you have a question? Yeah? Oh, your ummy wants to go the other way. Yeah, so sometimes you have to make sure that your ummy is going the right way. It should be a right ummy for us, a left ummy, but for them. Yeah? Which is the most, that's the one I used to get teased about all the time was my left ummy. This mean girl would c come and... She would say, can you show me your left ami? And I would do it, and she would laugh. She was terrible. Okay, anyways, mom problems. Okay, let's go around the aisle. Ready, around. Around the aisle, mile by mile. Then take a detour, Kaholo, to the right. I take a detour in Hawaiian style. Guess what? You already know this part. That's the way they do. Get ready to clap. The aloha week, hula, and a dip, and rise. Yes. Yeah, Eames learned this opposite yesterday, and now he has to dance it forward. So that's the hardest thing. But he's doing a great job. Yeah, you learned it forward yesterday, and now you have to dance it backwards. I know. You want to dance it forward? Kaholo, first verse. Little hula flirts, can I have to dance it? Little hula flirts in hula for hella. Winking at the boys in aloha shirts. That's the way to do. Clap. The aloha we kula. Around the island. Around the island. Detour. Take a detour in Hawaiian style. That's the way they do. The aloha we Oh, 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 wait. Oh, pause. 
So that was verse 1 and 2. I know it seems like it goes by so, so fast. Let's try it one last time before we close for the day. This is Aloha Wikula verses 1 and 2. Thank you. Hang in. Aholo. A little hula flirts. Little hula flirts. And hula skirts. Winking at the boys or blinking. Aloha shirts. That's the way to do. The Aloha Wikula. Around the aisle. Around the aisle. Mile by mile. Take a detour in Hawaiian style. That's the way to do. The Aloha Wikula. All right, Eames is going to get ready to close us out with Poi Balls on the deck. But before we end, I just wanted to give a quick plug. Many of you have been asking about Zoom options for the month of September. We do have a Zoom Hula workshop coming up on September 26th at 9 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time. That seemed to be the time that worked for most of you last month. So we're going to stick with that time. If that time doesn't work and you would like to sign up for weekly Zoom instead of the one day where you learn everything at once, you can also sign up for our Tuesday Zoom Hula. We've actually already begun our Hula for this month, but if you'd like to join in um, now in the, the next weeks for September, we will be completing Queen's Jubilee. Um, so we're going to be doing that on Tuesdays. And then if you cannot make the Tuesday 6 p.m. Hawaiian time, then sign up for the Sunday where we'll do the whole song in one session. Um, I did put the link into the comments. Maybe we can repaste it again one more time. Um, just in case you haven't had a chance to sign up, that is via Zoom, and it will be recorded um, on the September 26th one. The one that's weekly Tuesday is not recorded, but it's four sessions um, in September. Okay, so anyways, all of the information is at the link for the form to sign up for the Zoom. Otherwise, thank you so much for being with us today to celebrate Lili'u and Aloha Festivals. Eames is going to head out there. I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. Thank you. <laughs> and we will be closing out our hula for today. I hope we see you again next week. Until then, keep practicing and aloha. <laughs>